Well hello my friends, today I have the Asus TUF A16, I've always liked Asus's laptops and this TUF series is no exception. Besides, who doesn't like a TUF laptop? It might not be OtterBox TUF or even military grade TUF or even Hulk Hogan TUF, but I like it. The main question is, is it as tough as the other entry level gaming laptops that are out in the market right now? Let's find out. So the specs of this device is an all AMD build. It has definitely improved from its predecessors, specifically the Ryzen 5000 and AMD 6000 GPUs. So the specs of this device is the AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS processor, the Radeon RX 7600S, 512GB SSD, and 16GB of RAM. So the panel on this device is a Full HD 1920x1200p IPS type panel. It has a 98% sRGB color accuracy. It's also free sync compatible, which is great. And it goes up to 165 hertz. I also found this does have minimal ghosting. It's around less than 10 milliseconds. Can't really tell the difference from any other um, IPS panel that has a high refresh rate. So I really appreciate the decent color accuracy and normal brightness with this panel, but I would definitely like to see a QHD option, just like the Tough A16 Advantage Edition. I also have to like that it is free sync compatible, as some AAA titles may need the help of this tech so that it can play consistent frame rates. But since it's basically a full HD panel, most titles will be able to run comfortably with this GPU. Like all other Asus gaming laptops, I absolutely love the build quality and style of this laptop. It's sleek and stealthy just like the Razer Blade. But unlike the Razer Blade, it only comes with an aluminum lid and plastic bottom. It also is relatively slim and light which improves its portability when compared to other 16 inch gaming laptops like the Lenovo Legion series. The Lenovo Legion series is also about a pound heavier so you have to keep that in mind and this Asus TUF A16 does come with a lighter power brick. The keyboard is no different from any other of Asus's laptops. It's my favorite brand of keys in the market better than MSI or Lenovo. The spacing and size of the keys is just right plus they add a nice matte sort of rubbery texture to the keys for better ease of navigation. So let's just get one thing out of the way, in pure multi and single core performance, the Ryzen 7 7735HS still doesn't match up with Intel's 12th and 13th generation i7 offerings. It still does great in throwing any video editing task I throw it at it, so 4K video editing is fine. Okay, so I was surprised at how well this RX 7600 as performed given my disappointment in last generation set of AMD laptop GPUs. This can handle 1440p gaming easily and given the fact that AMD processors are getting more support in VRR and getting FSR for streaming, it can pretty much keep up with a 100 watt RTX 3070 or a fully powered RTX 3060. I think this makes the RX 7000 series laptop GPUs very competitive versus NVIDIA's RTX 4000 series, specifically the 4060. The only downside is that NVIDIA's GPUs are still only optimized for those that use Premiere Pro, so you'll see better performance using those cards with Premiere Pro. Thermal management could be improved, however, as the Ryzen 7 CPU gets way too hot and thermal throttles during Cinebench testing. I wasn't able to open up the laptop to see if it has liquid thermal paste, but it's unfortunate to see this in a budget-friendly laptop from Asus since the G15 and the M15 both perform well thermally. Overall, I absolutely love Asus's line of gaming laptops, the Tough, Zephyrus, Scar, you name it. I wouldn't really call this a tough laptop because I wouldn't want people doing ballistic tests on this. Shooting his daughter's laptop. There you the two major negatives of this device is the thermal throttling and the 1080p screen, but this laptop absolutely hits on all other points, performance, battery life, build quality, and design. I believe there's an, a QHD All AMD Advantage Edition that I'd rather shoot for, so keep an eye out for that and it should be competitive for those looking for a fairly priced mid-range gaming laptop that can play QHD gaming. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoy this quick review. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe and like. See you guys in the next video.